Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and today we're going to talk about a keyboard I have come or had coming in. And I arrived a day early. Pretty cool. Um, it's an Artec HB220B. This one's uh, got some cool improvements, and I'll tell you why I got it and uh, what those improvements are, and I'll do that right after the intro. All right, I made it back after the intro. So now we're going to check out, and I'll tell you all the reasons why this thing needed replacing. And then all the confusion over getting the A51 and, uh, and the phones, the very cool things. Once in a while, something really important. So this weekend, I finally emailed our tech support and they were very kind about it. They walked me through and I explained how I'd done my testing. Three different micro USB um, charging cables and uh, also charging off my right off the computer at five volts one amp and you'll notice see the that's the charging light. It says we're charged. I can turn this off and within a half hour turn it back on and it, it would be out. It would come up but it would be out. And then within like a half hour go, oh it's fully charged. It's like, I don't think so. So they agreed to replace it under warranty. Can't say enough good things about them. Uh, there will be a link in the description below. You heard it before. I mean, thing works like a champ if it's hooked to the uh, little umbilical back here. Yeah, great. But you can buy a Bluetooth keyboard originally. You have to run around and have it plugged in. Might as well be using a big giant keyboard from. Uh, you know, verbatim piece of crap, but it's reliable and it works. But it also takes up my whole little drawer space down here, and uh, we don't want that, do we? So without further ado, uh, you know, they sent me this today. What the hell? I can't even get it out of Well, we'll just show you an end view. Yeah. Oh, you gotta love them prime things. It's about a 50 foot long box. <coughs> Let's get around to unboxing and seeing what the new Artec HB220B keyboard looks like and what it does that the old one didn't. So I'm going to cut away for a second. I'm going to make sure it's all charged up. And, uh, well, I shouldn't even have to do that. I'm sure it is. We'll get it paired up. And life will be good. Be right back. All right, so that arrived from Prime. Uh, it was promised Wednesday and it showed up a day early out of Jacksonville. So let's get it unboxed, embarrass ourselves the least we can, hopefully, and we'll see what we got in the new Artec HB220B. This is not the older model, folks. Make no mistake about it. All right, so... We're going to have to uh, look at a close. Oh, okay, I see. So we're going to get these open. Pretty simple. You pull one down, and you reach over here. Pull the other one down, reach up here. And we're going to yank it open. 
And here's our new keyboard. And the first thing I noticed right away, I do believe I'd have to hold it up side by side to the older one. But, oh yeah, keys are quite a bit bigger overall. Physically, keyboards are the same size. Lighting, same colors, blah de -doo. So, what, we're going to set that aside for a second because it says it has frustration free plastic and we know that's not going to work. Let's see what we get in the box. We get a something here asking us, did it arrive on time? Are you satisfied? Make sure to register your product. Yada yada. Well, this was a one time warranty replacement. They won't do it again. Uh, but it's unlikely. I mean, the first one ran for almost a year and a half. And we get a pretty darn and nice manual here. If we can get it to even remotely focus a little. There we go. So all that stuff is in there. It's going to tell us what them three big buttons at the top do. And you're like, what three buttons? These three. Oh, never mind. We'll point those out later. Uh, and uh, inside, one, I always pull this stuff off camera. Inside, we get ourselves the proverbial USB to micro USB uh, charging cable. We'll leave that out because it's, oh, it's brand new. Might as well start using it right away. And that's about all that's in the box. Nicely done, Artec. All right, folks, first thing you're going to notice here is the wondrous and amazing uh, keyboard has much larger keys. Uh, not huge, but uh, quite a bit larger than the older uh, keyboard. And uh, let's flip her over and check her out. Oh yeah. And remember, this is frustration free. That doesn't necessarily mean frustration free for Tim, who is, a, you know, as we know, a retard when it comes to unboxings. So, let me see if I can get it open here. Uh, in, in any manner or form. It looks like this should just peel off of it. Yeah, looks maybe seizing, don't they? Eh, sure do. Where's the symbol? Oh, look at this. You pay attention. Sometimes you don't end up looking like a retard. And out she comes. All right. Oye, oye, oye. Get rid of the plastic, put it back in the box. Ah, always good to save it. Because I, yeah, for some reason, don't like it. I think I'll like it. Just fine. So, let me try to, what's not paired up yet? I got to pair it to at least one device. But what these buttons do, you can pair it up to one, two, three devices. Yeah, like magic. So let's say you got two laptops, or a laptop, a desktop. And once in a while, you're tired of typing on some dinky-ass 
stupid keyboard on Android or iOS, and you can use a regular keyboard. Sound good? We'll be back in a minute after I get done charging it and uh, making sure it's at least halfway charged up and works and getting it. I'm going to get it paired. I'm not going to pair the other two keys because, well, you know how to pair a USB or a Bluetooth device, I hope. Yeah. Okay, good. You're a good man. I'll be right back. Hey folks, uh, we're back. Charged it up, took about an hour and a half. Uh, paired it up, got it hooked on the first button up here. Uh, you know, the very first one. You do get three buttons, three devices. Pair them all. Click the button, you'll switch. So they say. Um, when you do charge it, the charging light just goes out. It doesn't go green like it did in my last one. It just goes out like it did in the very first Star Trek I bought. The one I melted the keyboard on, or I'd probably still be using that thing forever. So. Uh, This is physically a tad bigger. Uh, all the way up the two, let's say about, uh, oh, here. That's all. That's why the keys are bigger. They have extra room. Eh, you won't notice it looking at it. Thickness, weight, you ain't gonna notice it. Still the thinnest, lightest Bluetooth keyboard out there. In fact, you can now pair it off to three items. Now, if you only pair it to one, pff, makes a cake. And uh, it stayed paired, you know, for the most part. And uh, you can go ahead and take a look here. And you really don't care if it turns green or goes out. That doesn't matter. What does matter is you can check it. The first button up here next to the uh, keys, which are right next to the lead key, by the way. I want you to watch the charge button up here. Let's see what we get. Just gonna pop it once. One, two. I got four. This thing's fully charged. So, uh, and I get three, here's 75. You get two, you're at 50. You get one, you're at 25. And I seriously consider charging it. But I charge mine pretty often. I got the USB uh, to micro USB cable here plugged in through my little hub. And it kind of gets moved around. And so, uh, I'm figuring charge it like I mean I'm good with every two, three weeks. And the fact that it's at each check, I don't care if the damn light turns green or not. Maybe I got a bad green light, LED. I don't care. I'm not gonna complain. This was a warranty replacement of the previous one, which did have the green LED. But my first one didn't. It would just turn off. So, yeah, I know sometimes the Chinese ain't so good at keeping up to date and up to snuff on their uh, uh, hmm. manuals and instructions. Yeah, Chinese does not. Uh, translate well, and neither does the English and the Chinese. Not our fault, but so ends my review. I would say this unit's worth buying. It's like 23 bucks. The link will be in the description below. So we'll go to the outro, 
I think we're done for the day. Tomorrow, the big excitement begins. You know what that is. Yeah! We should get the Samsung uh, Galaxy A51 in here. Hell, if there is a follow-up on this keyboard, we'll do it on that. Kind of a shame we won't be using the one that we're using right now. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like. Sh share this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment. Thank you very much. And I'd just like to once again remind you. Big shout out to Art, Art Tech for having a really good customer service department and honoring their warranty. That's all. Thank you for your time. Catch you in the next one. And I'm going to go take a nap. Mm -hmm.